Hi, my name is Jonathan Andreessen. I'm Director of Product Marketing at Bluecoat, and today I want to talk to you about application delivery. And in particular, how a focus on application delivery can solve some of the key challenges faced by enterprises today. The first challenge is, how do we ensure that IT is a value center, not simply a cost center for the enterprise? The second challenge is, how do we ensure greater control over the applications running on the network? A third challenge is how do we ensure that the applications running on the network are aligned to the business priorities? How do we ensure that business agility? A fourth challenge would be how do we ensure compliance, both regulatory and corporate, as well as lower risk, by focusing on better visibility and reporting into the applications running on the network. The packet delivery network is essentially the foundation of IT connectivity today. It's great at routing and switching of data Yet it can't tell us what's running on the network, who's using the network, or help us measure performance of applications on the network. Today's enterprises are under strain, and these application challenges are putting strain on the network, and making it difficult for enterprises to tell and maintain performance across end users, particularly around core sets of applications, ERP, CRM, and voice over IP as examples. Beyond core applications, web-based malware is now the dominant IT threat. With 11 million unique malware variants detected in 2008, Gardner predicts that 75% of enterprises will be infected by financially motivated and undetected malware. A third challenge facing the packet delivery network is how do we ensure the consistent performance of web-based business applications like Webmail or SharePoint or other collaborative tools that are important for enterprises from a productivity standpoint. The last challenge would be how do we ensure the consistent performance of Web 2.0 applications delivered as software as a service, like Salesforce.com, for example? How do we ensure consistent performance of video type applications? And lastly, how do we control and limit recreational traffic, which can easily overtake real-time applications or other mission-critical applications? How do we block peer-to-peer -peer or limit MP3 downloads? Recreational traffic is often the culprit that we need to focus on. Given the challenges of running today's dynamic applications on the packet delivery network, enterprises are asking, how do we control all these applications running on the underlying infrastructure? And the answer really has to do with looking at the application delivery aspect and the end user experience. It's not simply about speeding everything up on the network. It's about being able to measure the end user experience, being able to identify the root application server or network issues and fixing them, and thirdly, about having the tools and processes to optimize the application environment. Managing today's enterprise network is becoming even more complicated due to the increasing amount of distributed users. Users working from remote branch offices or as mobile workers complicates managing the IT enterprise network. On top of this, the distance between the end users and the data is also increasing. For example, data center consolidation projects where servers are being moved back into the data center to reduce footprint at the branch, or Oracle applications that are externally hosted, means that end users and the data are further apart. And this creates performance challenges. Given this new and challenging network environment, the CIOs we surveyed gave us three priorities. The first is upgrading core and branch bandwidth to solve the application delivery issue. But as we'll discuss, this may not be required. The second area is improving application performance by optimizing and improving the existing network. And a third area is network security, moving beyond simply firewalls and VPNs to focus on protection at the web gateway layer. With better visibility, we can avoid bandwidth upgrades by better leveraging existing bandwidth. The first step is to see what's running on the network, what applications are being run, which users are using certain applications, and where are they being used. The next thing to ask is, how are my applications doing? Do I need to provide quality of service for certain applications to make sure they have a certain priority? Or if there's a problem, can I actually see what is causing those applications to not perform? The last piece is, what should I change on my network? How can we proactively preempt and identify issues before they actually impact the network performance? Once we can see what's running on the network, we can focus on improving application performance. Specifically, improving the performance of applications that matter to the end users. 
What we want to do is actually focus on improving the application experience of mission critical applications, focusing on ERP applications like SAP and Oracle, and making sure those applications perform as well as possible, while limiting and controlling recreational traffic that allows us to reduce bandwidth upgrades and save the enterprise costly OPEX charges. And finally, we need to look at network security. Is the content on the network malicious? And if so, we need to block it. We need to stop the bad content on the network. And finally, we need to control the end user experience so that we know that end users go to appropriate web content and we block web-based malware content. Now, we've certainly raised lots of questions and challenges today about application delivery, but the key point to remember is that real value is achieved when we look at all of these areas together. For example, once we see what's running on the network, we can ensure that we accelerate only mission critical applications on the network. Another example is if we can block malware and control the end user experience, access to unproductive or recreational content, we can offload the WAN, avoid WAN congestion, and end up reducing bandwidth charges and bandwidth scaling. The final result is a better performing WAN and better performing applications. And that's exactly where Bluecoat's application delivery network is focused, leveraging the combined value of these functional areas to ensure you have a fully integrated solution and are helping you to avoid buying point solutions that only tackle part of the problem. Addressing all of these three pillars in a single solution set ensures that your business and your network investments are fully aligned and that you achieve high worker productivity as well as ensure a proactive line of defense for your enterprise. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. I'm Jonathan Andreessen, Director of Product Marketing Asia Pacific at Bluecoat.